Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today is August 8th. It's eight o'clock in the morning and Samsung just pushed off the latest software update for the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. And this one is fixing quite a few critical issues. You can also see that the size is fairly large. It's right under 500 megabytes. So this one's sitting at 464 megabytes. It gives you your August 1st security patch. This version here ends in AXFJ. If you're here in the United States, if you're in European countries, it'll end slightly different. It should end in AX GF. So this update here should be fixing 35 Google vulnerabilities and 14 Samsung vulnerabilities, where one of them is actually pretty big. It's a critical Qualcomm hardware improvement. So once this thing turns on, we'll take a look at a few Samsung applications and services. We'll take a look at the Google Play system update, see if we have anything for August there. And we'll also take a look at the Galaxy Store. And it's at this point in the video that I usually like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel Jimmy's promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, or the latest updates on your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now that the update is finished, let's take a look at just three different applications or services from Samsung, and then we'll take a look at everything on the back end, which is actually more important. So first off, when it comes over into Samsung Home, this version before the update was sitting at 151015. This one's sitting at 151015, so no update there. We'll also take a look inside of Gallery. Don't know why I always choose Gallery, but it's just one of those you know native Samsung applications. Uh, before the update, it was 15.1.0.3.12, 15.1.0.3.12, so no update there. And then we'll also just for fun, take a look over inside of the Samsung Galaxy Store, see if there's an update here. I'm just trying to figure out where all these vulnerabilities was sitting at. Before the update, it was sitting at 4.5.81.7, 4.5.81.7. So there's nothing sitting in any of those three applications, but that's fine because the most important stuff was happening on the back end of things. Let's just first go inside the Galaxy Store. Oh, looks like we have an update here. I already went inside the Galaxy Store right before this update just to see what was sitting there. There was only one Samsung application, but after this update, we now have a Galaxy Store update. So here we go. Let's go for the update here, which maybe this will bring us more Samsung applications inside of here that, you know, sometimes if you don't get an update through the regular monthly update, they'll just actually just do the updates for particular applications through the Galaxy Store. So let's go inside of more. Now we have two of them sitting here. Originally, there was only one. So it looks as if there was an update for Samsung Find, but also the update for the Galaxy Store, just because Samsung account was sitting here already. So this is kind of giving us almost like three little updates right here from this monthly update for Samsung Find, Samsung account, and also the Galaxy Store. Now let's go over into the Google Play system update just because I want to see if there's anything sitting there. If there is anything sitting there for the Google Play system update, I'll actually have those details sitting right here. This is the release notes for the Google Play system update. So it looks as if there is one for the Google Play services. This is for your wallet, for your phone. With this new feature, you'll be able to add passes to your Google wallet using pass images and then a system management for the auto, PC, phone, TV, and where updates to system management services that improve media support and updatability. So let's just go and take a look to see if there actually is a update sitting there for us. So what I do is I go inside of the settings, I go inside of the software information, and then right here I can just see the Google Play system update. Tap that, it says July 1st for its, its version. So it looks as if there is a small little update size. Now, the thing about the Google Play system updates is that because they, they shoot off updates like every week or every two weeks, you might actually have to go through and hit update like once, twice or three times to actually get everything installed onto your phone. It kind of actually just depends on when was the last time you went into your Google Play system update to do an update because I don't believe that they actually put all of them all combined. You have to kind of update them uh, kind of maybe individually. At least that's what happens to me. So now that the phone restarted, it's back on. We went back inside of the software information. I went back over into the Google Play system update. It still states July 1st, but you know there was a little bit of an update sitting there. So whatever it did, it was able to at least add that update there, but it just wasn't the full August you know, patch just yet. So that's pretty much what you would have to do when it comes on over into your Google Play system updates is that you just, anytime that you're able to just update your phone or maybe twice a month, just look at it so you can see if you can just add in all of those newer features. And now take a look at the Samsung mobile security page here. This is where it's the most important portion of the video. This is for the August update. As you scroll down, what you'll see here on the very top, these are all of the Google patches. They all start with CVE. 
So for the Google patches, that is again, fixing vulnerabilities. They have one that is critical and then 34 of them that are high. But this is where it gets actually very important. Uh, and I've, I've sometimes rarely ever see this portion right here, which means that this is a, a high critical fix. So this is a Samsung semiconductor patches are also included in the security maintenance release from the following CVE item. So that portion there, or it could be this portion, because this is also crazy. This is where you have a Samsung vulnerability exposure, you know, vulnerability fix right here. So all of the SVEs are from Samsung. So this one is corresponding with all of these from Google. This is like one, two, three, four, five, six different vulnerabilities where Samsung is working with these six from Google. Again, that one's uh, a pretty big deal. Even though it says severity is moderate, it's because this one is working with several, which is pretty crazy. So one of these right here, which I believe will be this one up over here is the one that's the critical Qualcomm hardware improvement fix. So this is why this monthly update right here is very important. You can see here, you know, this Samsung is working with one Google. This Samsung is working with one Google Samsung. So you can see how this is actually how they normally look, which is why I thought that this was actually pretty, pretty substantial. We got one working with all of those from Google along with this one right here, which is usually not really listed. Uh, that is why this is super important. So I know that I kind of repeated myself there a couple times, but I'm just basically trying to reinforce where it is very important because again, this is the internet. Sometimes you have to re-establish the importance of something in a video. So that is everything for today's video. Mostly it's just all on the back end of things, all the vulnerabilities. It's almost 500 megabytes. Sometimes you can have monthly updates that are around 200 or 300. So anytime that they go closer to 500 and above, those are always those bigger updates. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.